So I want to focus on the historical heart of Moulbury and I thought no better place to start than the old grammar school. Now I think there's some investment going in it's at the moment so I don't know what it's being turned into at the moment is it being turned into a apprenticeship place or something probably somebody can confirm on that well let's get down into the historical area of Malt there so right down on the main road from the grammar school there's something here I don't know if this is an old well of some kind or what probably somebody can tell me if it's an old well but it's such a busy road along here But to me this is the historical part. Just been having a very interesting chat with a guy that's lived here all his life. He said there was actually six banks down here. No, sorry, three banks down here. Six banks in uh, Malt there. And I was saying they could really do with a bypass around here. I said there was one plan, but it's never happened. I didn't realise the traffic coming towards me is coming from Doncaster area. So we've got a bit of a cross here. And then we've got some uh, steps just around the corner. So the only real investment in Malt the last probably 10 or 20 years has been a new swimming bath. We've got the Don, I think it's Don One pub, or Don John, whatever you want to call it. Interesting set of steps just here. And then we have a cross of some kind here. Oh, it's got some writing on it. it says William Henley, Henry Crossley, Saint. Paul's Day, erected by his widow and children, an even tide. At even tide, it shall be a light. So, there you have it. Just looking for something else along here but I'll, I'll spin around in a moment so I've just come from those steps just there from the top row coming down onto this bit here which I think is a really interesting area so we've got the swan what was the swan pub up here it's now a sort of Indian place. I just want to show you this, what looks like another well of some kind under it, or oh, it's just a drainage system. So I don't know if that's a well or what, or whether it's a drain system. But then, this was one of the banks which was Nat, Nat, Nat West. Nat West. So you've got the White Swan just there. Now the Punjabi Grill can buy a lager in there and what I'm told is they do a bit of moonlighting at the weekends when there's a bit of nightlife 
going for a drink as well. I'll just have a walk down to the church. I want to show it, yeah. So that's looking back up to where the Nat West was. But it's supposed to be rainy today and it's gorgeous. Nice and mild, very light breeze. So this is St. Bartholomew's Church. I used to come here for remembrance parades with the Scouts when I was at Anston. And there'd be a big parade from here. So have a quick look around the church. There's quite a lot of allotments over this side down here, but it's pleasant around this area. When the mine was sunk, probably in the early 1900s, the old dynamics of Maltby probably changed from a farming community. To a mining community. But I'm sure they could do a lot more with this area. church is lovely, but the shop area really wants a bit of TLC on it. Not the best rose windows are they, compared with say, Doncaster St George Minster. You can see these are definitely 19th century type variants of it, nothing got grand like Doncaster. So when they claim that Doncaster Minster was built in the 19th century, I don't believe them. This looks more like a 19th century creation. So it's a quick view of historical malt, but it's well worth a walk down this area and have a the moat around. It's a footpath down here as well. I'll just give you one more view from that corner up there. I get round the corner. So that's just a view from here. So this was the old Nat West Bank, but there was two more along here. And that's it. So if you can like the video, follow the channel. Click on notifications for new videos in the future.